The Origins of the Lip Suit, Part 1. Off the coast of KPR, that fabled island nation, once the land of fierce tribes that performed dances and sported face tattoos. Then to the name its colonizers picked for it, now in the year 2333, its final name. After the dust of the war to end all wars had settled, the third time man had made such an outrageous claim. The war to end all wars would be fought if man were ever honest about a war's purposes and its intended goals, which is to start another one, Grasshopper. If the truth ever prevailed enough for man to utter it out of his crusty lips, war would go extinct. Have you ever seen a statesman stand up and tell you I want unlimited war without end? I want to grind men up on the wheel of my war machine, a sacrifice to my heart knows God called the military industrial complex. KPR, formerly known as New Zealand, was named Kurdistan Palestine in Rhodesia. The pact of mankind had given all displaced people's homeland except for those three. They just didn't have the political clout at the end of World War III to get anything else than an island split amongst the three of them. Now HC Ships was about 100 miles off the coast of KPR. The seabed was full of nodules of nickel and cobalt, and though illegal mining on Earth in general and not on the moon was highly frowned upon, but there he was. He, though the captain, and almost certainly he could have hired someone, he wouldn't. Hell, he couldn't. The thrill of scooping up rocks off the bottom of the ocean in a submersible, staring at a tiny screen, toggling the joystick, was too much to ever give up.